Good evening. So a kind of follow through day. However, this day has eventually turned out to be as a resting day or a narrow body day. So uh, as I have mentioned yesterday, uh, you know, this market is looking weak and we might see the follow through and this is what has happened in form of gap down. Prices closed below the declining 20 MA. So uh, this is an indication that uh, going forward, we might see you know, prices coming down and approaching to this uh, reference point. Uh, so, uh, you know, nonetheless, how many uh, types of scenarios we build, but market many a times just moves in its own way. And you know that that is what we have been experiencing because uh, you know after this rally to the uh, resistance area many of us now have made the assumptions that prices might continue to the upside however again we are seeing the selling in the markets and you know as as long as the prices remain below the you know 20 and 50 ma uh, you know Things will look uh, weak and things will remain weak. Even in the hourly time frame, we have this, you know, a uh, lot of room to, to, to the downside. So that shows that, uh, you know, prices are uh, weak and selling pressure is you know, quite evident there. Uh, prices have gapped down and as soon as they, you know, reached to this area and fill the gap the selling came again and they moved back down and you know this day has turned out to be as a narrow body day so this means that uh, you know shorting opportunities are still favorable and uh, until and unless we closed or move back up and clear the resistance we should not think about going long uh, you know, that would be, uh, you know, not the uh, right way to do as an informed trader. So Nifty uh, is looking quite weak and we have a room, as you can see in the hourly time frame, that prices might come down and, you know, so uh, as prices, you know, if at all they might open a uh, gap up tomorrow or uh, let's just clear this let's say they just open in the range or let's say they open gap up so this gap up will not be a you know a buying opportunity in my opinion and such rises should be used to go short as long as prices remain weak so just keep this in mind. Uh, we have these levels which are still acting as uh, you know strong support and resistance. So uh, in the daily time frame, we have this uh, seventeen thousand five hundred ninety as a resistance line and sixteen thousand seven hundred sixty as a support line. So they are still, you know, intact and working strongly. And until and unless prices, you know, reach to this support zone in the hourly time frame, uh, we should not think of going long, because as prices will come down to these areas, then we might see some reaction. We might see some push from the bull side, and then that would be the, you know, best way to participate in the rally. However, this market is looking still weak and uh, this is what, you know, uh, uh, we should uh, use the opportunity as a, to go short. So uh, let's jump on to Bank Nifty and see what is happening there. So uh, kind of better day than Nifty, uh, kind of, you know, indecision. Uh, 
we have this uh, narrow range day in the bank nifty as well however the bar if you just analyze it you know it looks that uh, there is a you know a very tight fight between the bulls and bears and you know kind of indecision however the prices have closed below the declining 20 ma so that means that somewhere bears are more aggressive and you know until and unless we clear these highs we should not be thinking of going uh, long and use every rise as a opportunity to go short again we have the you know zones uh, these lines are you know working perfectly so there is nothing to change here uh, after this you know decline uh, prices made an attempt to move back up however they are still in the lower uh, one third range of this decline so that shows that that the price pressure is there and you know in even in bank nifty we have a lot of room for uh, or to the downside so until prices ka came comes down here uh, we should not be thinking of the longs and use the opportunity as a short so uh, you know yeah so uh, india wax is you know pretty much in the comfortable zone but uh because of this selling which you know maybe because of some news or uh, based on the current environment or the covid situation we are experiencing this uh you know market wide selling so you know based on what is happening uh, we should uh participate in you know what is happening in the market instead of what are you know uh mind says or what our heart says so based on what is currently happening uh, we should uh, you know the act or the trade should be according to what you know the market is telling is what candles and what the trend is telling is and not uh, you know what we think that might happen tomorrow so building these scenarios would be good uh, because we you know we uh, become ready uh, with the tools however uh, if that did, does not happen and market turns to the other side then based on the current information and the analysis we should act you know accordingly so uh, let's just see what is happening in nifty it so nifty it is still in the range from you know past many days so until and unless it clear the highs or these lows uh, i don't think that there is any uh, no big opportunity here pharma is again uh, you know range bound market auto is uh, you know still weak uh, as we have you uh, know uh, made the analysis in you know past after this decline prices rally to this uh, resistance area and we are again experiencing the uh, you know uh, selling pressure here so energy is again range bound so in reality uh, after prices have reached to these highs you know uh, we saw some uh, reaction here however this bottoming tail which formed today tells us that you know buyers are here at this minor support area and if prices just consolidate here and moves back up then reality might give some opportunity to the long side so fmcg is weak so metal again uh, you know reaction from these previous highs the resistance zone so until then unless we have a clear bullish pattern uh, we should not be you know uh, move into this sector or probably we could you know scan the stocks which are showing relative strength but be aware of this that uh, you know we are not completely in an uptrend in metal yet so commodity again a range bound market 
so uh, you know all in all uh, nifty is uh, still showing weakness and as we just you know analyze the market uh, until and unless we cleared you know these highs again and move back up uh, every rise should be taken as an opportunity to the downside uh, or let prices come down to this uh, support area and once we have some reaction from the bulls then we might uh, you know think of going long uh, for tomorrow uh, i think that we might see a uh, you know either a range bound opening so prices have you know uh, they just open and close in the range so uh, and in the intraday they have closed above the 20 and 60 ma so that would mean that we might see some uh, you know higher opening uh, prices might open at these higher range and try to move back up and then probably uh, you know uh, turn down so based on what is happening i mean you know what the current information you know what picture it will give us based on that we will uh, decide the trade so hope you have got the message and this is in that's it in today's analysis hope you have enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe the channel so this is it and uh, wish you all the best for tomorrow take care bye bye